Hello dear children, welcome you to Form 3, First Midterm History Lesson. Unit 1, Traditional Technologies and Arts of Sri Lanka. In our previous lesson, we already discussed about the religious buildings. Now, we are going to learn about the non-religious buildings and also we are going to learn about the artistic creations such as statues, especially the statues of Lord Buddha and the both of the statues, statues of the royals and others, carvings and sculptures and about the paintings of Sigiriya and so on. So let me say you the content of the lesson. A non-religious buildings such as royal palaces, hospitals, toilets and urinals and also we are going to talk about some artistic creations such as statues, statues of Buddha, carvings and sculptures and about paintings. First of all Let's discuss about the royal palaces which comes under non-religious buildings. When you are talking about the royal palaces, during the period of Anuradhapura, the palaces were constructed for the kings and for the highest nobility. And those palaces had been constructed in the inner city. Sikiri can be considered as one of the best example for the royal palaces at that time. It was a unique palace with water parks, rock parks, moles and also boundary walls. And this great construction was done by King Kashyapa at that time. And also the Vijayabha Palace which is situated in the inner city of Anuradhapura is considered to be the oldest palace belonging to the Polonnaruwa period. And also the Vajayanta Prasadil which is situated in the inner city of Polonnaruwa and which is a construction of King Parakrambahu I is also considered to be one of the most remarkable royal palaces. So it's saying that there had been seven floors in the Vajayanta Praza there. And also the ruins of a smaller palace that had been constructed according to the plan of Vajanta Prasada is found in the Panduvas Nuara. So these can be considered as the good examples for the royal palaces in the early ages of Sri Lanka. Okay children, here you can see the pictures of Vajanda Prasa there and also the ruins of Vijayabha Palace which is in the Polonnaruwa city. Now let's move to talk about the hospitals. When you are talking about the hospitals, the hospital of Madhirigiriya, the hospital of Mehintale and the Alhana Piriven Hospital can be considered as the best examples for the ancient hospitals in Sri Lanka. So, the ruins of ancient hospitals have been discovered from these places in Polonnaruwa. The hospitals has constituted a central courtyard and the rooms connected to the in-house patients and also there had been storerooms and halls and also the medicines were manufactured and a dispensary. 
and the another important thing about the hospitals at that time is the medicinal bath also could find in these hospital sites and it can be considered as a unique creation of uh, the Sri Lankans and also it is saying that the medical equipments too have been discovered among the ruins of the hospital that was discovered among the buildings of Alhana Pirivena in Polonnaruwa. Okay, now let's talk about the toilets and urinals of the ancient Sri Lanka. At that time, well planned toilets and urinals had been constructed and we can say that people of that time had paid a good concern about the environment too because they had not even let out the waste water from urinals directly into the soil. They have kept several clay pots one upon the others so that the waste water is filtered before they are released into the soil. And also the toilets and urinals in monastery complexes were decorated with beautiful carvings. Okay children, now let's talk about the artistic creations of early Anuradhapura and Polonnaruwa periods. Under the artistic creations, first talk about the statue of Buddha. The sculptures are given a prominent place among the artistic creations in Sri Lanka. The creators of early periods had created the statues of Lord Buddha and also the statues of Bodhisattva, the kings and other statues paying attention to the mathematical measurements. And when we are talking about the statue of Buddha, the statue of Buddha had been constructed in three postures, namely the standing position, sitting position and reclining position. The most common posture is the Dhyana Mudra or the meditation posture. The Samadhi Buddha statue and the Tholamina Buddha statue are the examples for that. The very famous Aukana Buddha statue and Rasvahira Buddha statue and also the statues are in standing position and they belong to the Anuradhapura period. Not only in Anuradhapura but also the statues belonging to all three types of postures can be found in two. Now let's talk about the Bodhisattva statue. Bodhisattva statues were created in several areas of Sri Lanka such as Guduruvagala, Valigama, Kushtarajagala and Natalavihira. The concept of worshipping Bodhisattva statues have become popular with the spread of Mahayana. Among all of these, the most prominent Bodhisattva statue can be found in Dambe Goda, which belongs to the Radhapura period. And when you are talking about the statues of the royalty and others, the statues of royalties like King Dutugamunu and King Bhatikabaya have been found from the courtyard of Ruangalisaya and also the very famous statue close to 
Parakrama Samudraya is considered to be of sages called Kapila or the Pulasti Rishi. Now let's talk about the carvings and sculptures of the ancient Sri Lanka. Although the arts of carving and sculpture in Sri Lanka were influenced by the Indian traditions, they developed with the unique features of our country with the passage of time. One of the best examples is the Sandakada Pahana or we call it as the Moonstone. It is a semicircular shape rock and made of stone and they are placed at the entrance of buildings. At the earlier stage the Sandakada Pahana was a plain stone slab but later on it was decorated with a procession of swans carrying a lotus bud and with some other animals such as elephants, lions, horses and bulls for loving one another in the procession. But due to the influence of Hinduism the bull was removed from Sandakanda Pahana in the Palon Narva era. There are two most artistic Sandakanda Pahas in Abhayagiri temple which belongs to Anuradhapura period. And also And also the creations like Kurava Gala, Piyagata, it means the stairs, the Isurumuniya lovers and the man and the horse head are other very famous carvings that we can find in ancient Sri Lanka. And these are the creations or the statues made in the early periods of Sri Lanka using bronze such as the statue of Siva, Siva Nataraja, Parvati and Surya it means the sun. All of these images have done using the bronze and these have done on the concepts of Hindus during the Polonnaruva period. Here are the pictures of Nataraja, Parvati and Surya. And now let's talk about the very famous paintings which we can find in the ancient Sri Lanka from the Sigiriya. We discussed about the Sigiriya and it is a great creation or a palace done by King Kashyapa. And it's considered as the seventh wonder of the world too. When you are talking about the paintings, Sigiriya frescoes are really important. Sigiriya frescoes are belonging to the 5th century AD. And when you are talking about the colors the artists have used in order to color these pictures, the yellow color, bay color, red and blue colors are prominent. And the west side of the rock depict women wearing or carrying lotus and other flowers like lilies and sapu. And also the tradition of painting has developed during Polonaro era. These are the best examples for the paintings that we can find in Polonarva era. Maravidya in Dimbulagala, Pulnigoda, Galvihare and Tilanka image house. We can find great 
paintings in these places in Polonaroe E. Okay children, now that's the end of the lesson. Now let's look into the summary of the lesson. We discussed about the non-religious buildings such as royal palaces and the key features of them with examples and we talked about the hospitals, where were they, what were they consist of and also about the toilets and urinals and where, the, where are they located. And also we discussed about the artistic creations such as the statues and we talked about the statues of Buddha, the postures of Buddha and where can we find them and the carvings and sculptures such as more stones and the paintings of Sikiriya. Here are some questions for you to answer. Try to answer all these questions. Question number one, what are the non-religious buildings in Vajrata civilization? We have to give the examples. And question number two, briefly explain each of the above. You have to explain each of the above non-religious buildings one by one. Question number three, what was planned to filter the wastes from the urinals? Question four, where can we find the statue of Buddha? Question five, what made the worshipping of Bodhisattva statue popular? Question number six, what was the most remarkable carving we can find in Sri Lanka? and explain the carvings of Moonstone. I hope you'll be able to answer all these questions. That's the end of the lesson. Thank you very much for joining with us. Have a good day.